Hello everybody, Rambo here, and I hope you survived the day. <laughs> it uh, was pretty red. Uh, I was not trading today whatsoever. I was involved with some crypto stuff that I had to take care of. So, um, But uh, I did help uh, some people uh, with the SPY. I predicted that fall, believe it or not. I didn't do it on here. I wish I would have. I would have looked like a genius. But everyone in the Discord, I told that it was going to go from 470 down to 445. And then today, I had a good idea that it was going to get down into the 430s. Uh, and that's exactly what it did. Um, that's how you make money in a red market. You just... you. You go with the market, guys. I know it's ingrained in us to buy low and then you sell it when it goes high. But when the market's going down, you buy and then you sell. That's court called shorting. And uh, with options, you, you, you buy puts and, and that's how you make money. So uh, very, very tough to um, go against the market. You don't want to do that, but if the stocks are good, uh, they will go up. Um, and with knowing history, we again, I've drilled it into your heads. OTC usually starts seeing a spike about this time. And in February, uh, now with that said, we might not see 800% spikes, but uh, those 800% spikes will probably turn into you know, 100 to 400% spike. So that there's still money to be made being bullish in a down market, but you have to, yeah, I knew it. As soon as I start, there we go. Now the world wants to talk to me. Gee, many Christmas. Um, so I rambled on enough already. Gee, wow. Um, so sorry about that, guys. Uh, AAPT, let's start it off. Um, uh, AAPT had a red day today, but we're, we're still con just consolidating. We did break the downtrend, guys. So, uh, like I said yesterday, um, maybe uh, a break back down to the south side before we start going up. Uh, but you want to keep an eye on it. It could jump at any time. So, uh, not much really to say uh, any different with uh, a lot of these stocks. The, it was just a red day for, for the OTC. So, um, what you want to see is uh, stocks that are going up on a really, really red day. That's that's a good, that's called um, strong uh, uh, general market uh, strength and um, or relative market strength, I'm sorry. Um, so, uh, Civil uh, took it on the chin again today also, um, but it, it's we're still consolidating sideways here. So... Um, I'm still happy we, we stay we, we stayed above the Andrews pitchfork uh, just barely we're right on it so uh, tomorrow uh, Monday might be uh, or this coming week might be uh, a telling sign of if Sybil's finally stopped bleeding and uh, we might uh, see something from Sybil um, next week uh, going upwards um, next I have is Fern Fern, not bad. Uh, only down, uh, what, 0 0.047. So basically just staying sideways. Sideways is good right now, guys. If we if we could stay above the 0.212 area here um, and just move sideways uh, and breaking that downward trend, that would be uh, a really good sign. And that's what Fern did today. So that's good news. Um, H. D U P. Now on a down day, uh, H D U uh, P did some very very good things. One, it went up, it went up fourteen percent. But not only that, it went up and then stayed up. And usually when you finish, I would like to say you know a little bit higher than this, uh, close to the the day's high. That's usually a good sign of things to come the next day. Uh, when you see it come up and then start, you know, slowly just going down, um, usually, you know, the next day it tanks. Um, but uh, this stayed up there pretty, pretty good. So 
Uh, that's a good sign. Doesn't mean that it's going to go up tomorrow. Don't take my... I'm an old man upstairs in a dark room looking at three monitors, right? So take it for what it is. This is just for entertainment and, um, uh, you know, take it with uh, the way you want it to, but it's your decision. Um, next is uh, ILST. ILST was doing great, had a really good pullback, started to come up, and then my name was put on the chalkboard, and, and now it's gone down. Um, we're still above the secondary um, downward resistance trend line here, so uh, personally, I think I said before, I wouldn't be surprised if it did come back down to 0, 0,118, and then uh, retest this uh, resistance at 0, 0,144 before... Uh, a breakout that would be nice uh, if it gets if it gets below zero one one nine you know that's uh, that'd be I'd stop out uh, of that one but uh, right now uh, very very good looking strong chart so um, we'll see what happens with the ILST IL uh, ILS what I say guys to the moon right boink went down seven point six percent. Is that the end of the world? No, just like it's not, you know, we're going to the moon on a couple good days. It's just the way the market is. Uh, we're, I told you, Eilis loves to straddle. Um, didn't straddle here, it, it did really well, a nice bounce. Um, that's really good. We're at the average uh, right now. Um, and uh, we'll see what happens with Eilis next week. It should be a telling week, guys, uh, what Eilis is gonna do. It's either gonna come down and maybe test this support line right here or it's going to break out um, we should uh, know uh, pretty quickly with ILIS. Uh JPEX great strength up 14 percent um, didn't quite get uh, to the uh, resistance at zero zero three one four um, but we're getting we're, we're getting awfully close we did finish above the downward trend line, which is a good sign. Uh, I would not be surprised if it if it gapped up and went over the 0314 and took off, or I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised if uh, again we came back down again and, and retested 0252 before uh, maybe really strongly breaking uh, the downward trend, but. Um, you know, we, we got close here, next day came down, came down, you now came up again. Um, it's trying to hypnotize you as it slowly straddles downward. Um, that could happen also. Um, I closer we get to the trend, I, I really don't see us consolidating too much right here. I think uh, most likely we'll, we'll break to the upside or we'll uh, continue a downtrend if we do that if we break 0251 you know we, we could get down to 0204 area I but this looks like it, it might have an uh, it had a nice rest it wasn't steep down it was you know pretty much uh, not exactly nice 45 degree angle downward but um, it's looking good it's looking um, really good so um, Next, MJWL. <sighs> really red day, and this had a this had a good day. It was up 1.2 percent. Um, working our way back up here. Uh, we'll see what happens when it breaks. Uh, there's resistance at 04. So if it breaks that, um, I know it's oldie but goodie. But uh, this looks like it could, uh, you know, take off and it could gap up. You never know. Um, I don't have this on the list. I'm not going to talk about, but for an example, here's SIRC. Here's the same pattern. Came now. This went down below the reversal area. Came up, had a red day, and I'm like, I think it's going to come back down and then go up. And what does it do? It gaps up. Went right through the the, the second target here. So. Uh, just be careful with MJWL. It could do the same thing. Here we are. We're down below. Uh, we could start working our way up. And, um, you know, 
you, you might it tends to consolidate when it's in this reversal zone here um, but uh, this might end up gapping up too and killing you after watching it and oh, I'm gonna get in the next day and then it's you know uh, it goes up gaps up at the open so um, just be careful of MJWL um, next uh, PUGE uh, PUGE uh, Boy, uh, if you caught that ghost wick right there, beautiful. Um, uh, I mean, that that's down uh, with rock solid support area down here. So you're just uh, camping out and moving up your stop losses, really. Uh, you're in for a nice long run if it continues upward. It Here's a it's still nice looking chart. It's upward trend. Uh, so the, there's big resistance at 0054, uh, but now uh, if you guys are in it, you know, we're going to have to wait and see if it consolidates and, and uh, breaks that downward trend line um, to see um, more upward movement or, it, you know, it can do anything it wants. It can go down, it can go sideways, it can go up. <laughs> uh, that, that's great advice, isn't it? I, I'm, I've got my butt covered on that. Um, but the way it's just been consolidating here, setting up a base, which is right right where all, you know a lot of this action was going on here. So um, it's just deciding what it's going to do. So when that happens, you look at the stock. If it if you did your due diligence on it and you like it, this is a this is a good area. It's not quite you know the, the smart money's down here, smart money bought right here. Boy, that would have been nice, um, but. Um, We'll see what happens with P-U-G-E. And uh, I think I told people about this one, V-R-A-R. It went up 4.2% uh, today. Um, very, very good. It got very close to, um, I've, I've got, even if it has gone up this much, guys, if it breaks over 1173, I'm going to put some money into it. Uh, because th this area right here, it could just, it, it could take off. Um, I'm still waiting for, I was said that down here. Uh, after this big engulfing candle, I thought for sure we would have a retracement. Then after this one, retracement. Now after this one, retracement. And I, I have friends that got in in the $7 range in the, you know, just same area down here. Um, and I didn't, I thought it was going to hit the support and it didn't do it. So now I'm stuck, still waiting for a retracement and then uh, buying in uh, on the way up here. Uh, and that, that still definitely could happen. <laughs> um, I, I just, I'm conservative. I don't like to get FOMO and get in right here, but, uh, you know, it'd be a nice 50% retracement if it got down to, you know, 959 area. I'd feel really comfortable um, if we had a dip down around that area. Um, but uh, momentum wise, if it breaks here, I'm going to put a date night money in, wait for a retracement somewhere, put more money in uh, to this one because this has got a lot of momentum on it. So for some reason, my RSI indicator isn't working on this one, but that's what you get for free indicators. Uh, sometimes they, they glitch out like that. Um, and with that said, guys, um, just like to remind everybody uh, tomorrow morning, uh, 9 o'clock Eastern Time, uh, or Central Time, sorry, 10 o'clock Eastern Time, we're going to be uh, doing um, live streaming with Moon Market on his Discord and talking about a lot of these stocks and what we think might happen with them and answer some questions. And um, with that, uh, also, uh, if you like... Um, the video, um, please give me a like and give me comments below on some of the tickers again that you might want me to look at in the future. Uh, and uh, subscribe if you haven't yet also, please. Uh, and that is it. I hope you guys have a great, great weekend. Just walk away from the charts and everything. Enjoy life. And um, we'll see you next weekend. Well, not next weekend, next week. <laughs> Monday, right? No holiday? Yeah, okay. So, Monday. Take care, guys. Bye.